Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 10th of April, 2024. Indian benchmark indices ended higher on April 10th with Nifty hitting fresh record high. At close, the Sensex was up 354.45 points or 0.47% at 75,038.15, and the Nifty was up 111.00 points or 0.49% at 22,753.80. Top gainers on the Nifty included Coal India, BPCL, Kotak Mahindra Bank, ITC, and Hindalco Industries, while losers were Sipla, Maruti Suzuki, HDFC Life, Divi's Labs, and SBI Life Insurance. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of Reliance Infrastructure fell 20% on April 10 and were locked in the lower circuit at 227 point for rupees after the Supreme Court ordered its airport metro arm to refund arbitral award payments made by the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. The Supreme Court accepted DMRC's curative petition and overturned its earlier ruling, which said that the public transporter was liable to pay about 8,000 rupees crore to Delhi Airport Metro Express Private Limited. The bench, comprising Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachud, Justices B.R. Gavai and Suya Kant, directed that Reliance Infra Unit to refund the money deposited by DMRC. Shares of Godawari Power and IPAT Limited surged over 7% on April 10 after the company said it resumed full operations at its biomass power plant in Chhattisgarh after a fire incident. The stock, which has more than doubled in the past year, has recorded gains for three consecutive weeks. It commenced trial operations at the Chhattisgarh plant on March 27 and resumed full-scale operations on April 8, Godawari Power told exchanges. According to the company, a fire at an 8 equals MW biomass power plant of its subsidiary Hiraferro Alloys Limited in Chhattisgarh in August 2023 forced it to halt operations. Shares of Ramco System zoomed 19.99% on April 10 after the aviation software specialist signed a multi-million dollar deal with Korea's largest airline Korean Air for tech support at its new engine maintenance complex. The implementation of Ramco's aviation software will replace multiple legacy systems to streamline operations across current engine shops and planned expansion sites, the company said in a regulatory filing. This deal comes shortly after the airline's announcement regarding the construction of its engine maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility in Unbuck near Incheon International Airport. This facility is touted to become the largest engine maintenance plant in Asia, bringing together all engine MRO capabilities into a single cluster. Shares of Policy Bazaar parent PB Fintech surged over 5% on April 10 to hit a 52-week high of 1,400.35 rupees on the NSE, a day after the company incorporated a subsidiary unit. We hereby inform that a wholly owned subsidiary of the company by the name of PB Pay Private Limited has been incorporated via the Certificate of Incorporation issued by Registrar of Companies, Central Registration Center, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, dated April 9, 2024 the company said in an exchange filing. Shares of Avenue Supermark gained over a percent to hit a new 52-week high of 4,784 rupees on April 10 after the operators of DMART announced the opening of a new store in Bengaluru, taking the number of stores to 366. Recently, the company announced a 20% rise in standalone revenue at 12,393 rupees crore in the final quarter of FY24. Morgan Stanley has stuck to its overweight call on the stock and set a price target of 4,695 rupees, which has already been surpassed. The revenue growth surpassed the 18% seen in the first nine months of financial year 2024, mainly driven by a same-store sales growth of 11%, marking the highest SSSG in the past five quarters, the brokerage said. Cadsys India Limited in daily time frame is trading around 300 points with a change of 20% and is trading with a net volume of around 69,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 252.16 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 78.25. Ramco System Limited in daily time frame is trading around 340.90 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 1.605 million shares. 
the share price is trading above its moving average 296.32, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 69.95. Oriana Power Limited in daily time frame is trading around 1,134.45 points with a change of 15.42% and is trading with a net volume of around 214.4 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 908.23, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 75.95. For the stock recommendation we have, IRCTC Limited looks good and can be bought at 1,023 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 993 rupees and a target of 1,055 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!